hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, we're going to go over to Insider, and this is an update on the trial of the OnlyFans model accused of boyfriend's murder. She called him the N-word during the fight before his death, prosecutor said. Uh, just to recap, I did a video uh, about a couple of weeks ago about a OnlyFans model. Um, her name is Courtney Chaney. Uh, she was in a relationship with uh, Obumzi, who is African American. She is Caucasian. Um, not that that has any bearing on it. However, uh, she killed him. She claimed that he was the aggressor. Um, I also posted a video of them in the elevator where she was physically attacking uh, him. And, you know, he was defending himself, you know, pushing her away and uh, stuff like that. Uh, but she did wind up uh, taking Obamzi's life. It says police arrest, arrested Courtney Chansley. Chansley on suspicion of being connected with her boyfriend's death. Chansey, um is an OnlyFans model and Instagram influencer with over 2 million followers. Christian Obumzi secretly recorded their arguments, including one in which she used a racial slur. Courtney Chansey racially abused her boyfriend, who police have accused her of killing in a video and audio recording in the Miami-Dade attorney's office newly released. Police arrested the 26-year-old Instagram and OnlyFans star and charged her with second-degree murder in connection with the boyfriend Christian Obumzi's fatal stabbing in August. Obumzi, who was a uh, cryptocurrency investor, secretly recorded the pair during fights on his phone prior to the, his death. In the video, Chansey can be heard screaming at Obumzi and hurling racial abuse at him, including the N-word. Shut up and let me effing slap you, you dumbass. Chansey is heard screaming in one of the recordings NBC News aired. The pair appeared to be arguing at the Obumzi failed to tell her that he greeted a female friend while on a bike ride. <clears throat> uh, Chansey then hurled a racial slur, you're a n-word, I want you to get away from me, she said according to the Daily Beast. Uh, uh, uh. In another cell phone recorded video, Chansey asked her boyfriend whether or not you are done gaslighting me. Obumzi can be heard telling her, you hit me, to which she responds, shut the F up, you, you, uh, you biatch. Mm -mm. Kathleen uh, Ferdinand's uh, Rumble, the Miami-Dade State's attorney previously released a surveillance footage for the inside of the elevator in February, which she said, she it said appeared to show Chansey. Chansey, I apologize for <laughs> mispronouncing the name, as the primary aggressor during the physical altercation. Chansey, who goes by the name Courtney Taylor on Instagram and OnlyFans, previously admitted to stabbing, uh, which took place inside a luxury Miami apartment in April. Chansey's attorney have claimed that the killing was in self-defense. Her attorney, Frank... Uh, Pirato and Sabrina uh, Puglis, I apologize for mispronouncing the name, told the Daily Beast that the snapshots of the evidence withhold any context will prevent our client from receiving a fair trial. They said it was clear that the pair were in a toxic, dysfunctional relationship. She's not going to trial for her lifestyle, her previous argument or recorded rants. She's going to trial for defending herself, they said. Two days before the killing, Chansley had contacted Miami-Dade police to report that Obumzi was stalking her, 
her attorney released footage uh, of her crying and shaking while police interviewed her in the lobby of the luxury car though. Obamzi's family previously told Rolling Stone that they believed that the attack was unprovoked and that authorities were giving Chansley special treatment because she is white. She is a white woman and Obamzi was a black man. The couple was together for two years during which time they had multiple altercations that led to police being called to their Atlanta home. Uh, excuse me, to their home in August. Excuse me, in Austin. According to the Miami Herald, uh, Miami police released text messages from Obumsey's phone, which made reference to previous instances of domestic violence, including previous instances of Channing allegedly stabbing him. Stabbing him, the mirror reported. Uh, yeah. uh, we gonna go ahead and get into this CBS video. And I'll be right back with my um, thoughts after that. New details tonight in the case of Courtney Clenny, the social media model charged with second degree murder after stabbing her boyfriend to death. The Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office has released a slew of evidence, some of which are videos the victim himself took of their fights, and he seemingly did it without her knowing about it. CBS 4's Naja Sherman went through the cell phone videos and joins us from the newsroom tonight with more. Naja, what'd you find? Lauren and Elliot, tonight I listened to those phone recordings. They are very disturbing. They include racial slurs. Cleany is screaming and she is cursing out Obam Sully. Sorry, sir. Just shut up. Give me my phone. Find it. Find it. Find it. For the first time, we are hearing audio recordings that Christian Obam Sully secretly took of his girlfriend, Courtney Cleany, in the days leading up to when she stabbed him to death. Most of the audio we can't play for you on air, so I pulled just a few quick clips to let you hear the tone of what Obam Sully captured. Can you help me find it? I won! So why? The secret recordings are now in evidence in the murder case against Courtney Cleaney, and they offer a revealing window into how deeply toxic their relationship was. The prosecution could present them to a jury to show Cleaney as a domestic abuser who ultimately plunged a knife into the chest of her boyfriend inside their luxury apartment in Miami. You literally talked to her without telling me! Courtney, I was on a bike ride and she passed me and I said hi. This cell phone was reportedly hidden in Oban Sully's pocket, so there isn't much video, but the audio is clear and it's painful to hear. <laughs> in many of the recordings, Obam Sully is repeatedly apologizing. Clint calls him the N-word multiple times. The video clips on his phone were recovered by Miami police investigators as part of their homicide probe. Our reporting partners at the Herald obtained them from the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office through a public records request. Clinty remains in jail on a second-degree murder charge. Her defense team has not commented on the recordings. Naja Sherman, CBS 4 News Tonight. Okay, that is the end of the uh, video. Um... Shorty got a problem um, because it was all, it was also reported that uh, she wanted to go into like um, uh, some type of retreat or rehab, but that was only after she had taken Obumsey's life, um, you know, uh, I guess rehabilitation or whatever. Um, of course, she's going to say that she was the uh, he was the aggressor. Um, it, it clearly points out, uh, in some instances that men are victims of domestic violence. It is not always the female, um, who is being abused. It is not always the female that is being, uh, harassed and stalked and, 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 and hurt and things like that. Uh, men do share, uh, abuse as well and this is a perfect case of that um i haven't seen anything that would uh lead me to think that he was the aggressor uh he 
everything that I've seen in regards to this case, even the video of them in the um, elevator, he tried to de-escalate the situation. Um, him, her calling him out her name. Um, it's just this, like a sense of entitlement. Um, despite what people may think, just because you date a, a, a person um, does not mean that you don't have some type of uh, racial bias towards them. Um, just because you date them, that does not give you a pass to uh, call another person a racial slur. Uh, it does not. It does not make it right. Um, it just seems like right now I'm going to reserve my... Uh, opinions but at the moment just going upon the evidence that I've seen and the things that I've heard uh, the recordings and things like that she definitely was the aggressor um, he definitely tried to de-escalate the situation um, to the family's uh, claims that they gave her a special treatment because she is white hey you make that decision for yourself I'm not, I'm definitely not going to try to make it a race thing. Um, however, it does seem, uh, you know, she is very privileged, you know, um, and um, she has some hints of victim, uh, playing victim. So, uh, you know, when she was clearly aggressive uh, to this uh, black man who was, a, you know, yeah, you've seen it, but um, that's just my opinions. I'm going to reserve the rest of my opinion until uh, something else comes out or the conclusion. Uh, and uh, yeah, let me know how you feel down in the comment section about this. Um, like I said, this is an update uh, to the story I did previously about like a couple of weeks ago. And um, I definitely would like to hear your thoughts. So join me down in the comment section and let's talk about this story and any other story on my channel. I want to take this time right now to thank you so much and band with me. Uh, I am still fighting this cold. Um, the mere fact that I'm able to like do a video is purely because of Mucinex. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> and tea. So, uh, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And I will get back with you guys in the next video.